former Strictly contestant Jamie Lang says he and wife Sophie have marriage counselling twice a month. Jamie said, I said to Sophie, look, 40 or 50 per cent of marriages end in divorce. I think it would be really good to do. And he says, it's been really good. So would you go one step further and gift someone <laughs> marriage counselling for their wedding? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Only Katie. if you're looking to get out of it, yeah. I would imagine. Katie. Well, well, so I like Jamie's approach because I think it's prevention, not cure. Because I think normally you'd go to couples counselling when either one of you's cheated or one of you wants to end the marriage for whatever reason. And it's that final kind of plaster to, to see if you can make it work. And I think he's sort of saying, actually, communication is the most important thing. So let's not get to that point and let's never stop communicating. And this, this is a way to do it. Mm. Mm. I, I agree. And I, I am a huge fan of counselling, either mm. in individually or, or in couples. I just... I wonder, for me, obviously, I'm several more... Well, I don't know how long... How long have they been together before About getting married? Five years or, or, five, yeah. or five Only years. married a year, mm. I think. I just think that if everything was all right in my marriage, which it, it is now, touch wood, wherever it is, and my husband came to me and said, I think that we should do prevention, not cure, and have marriage counselling, I just, there would just be a big red flag waving, I think. Also, I would be worried about going when there isn't a problem in case a bit like false memory syndrome, that they're asking you all these questions and you think, hang on a minute, I didn't know that you felt that, and then it causes a problem. Yeah. So I'm not criticising it, I think each to their own. But while everything's fine, I think I'd mm. just rather not have any, have a third party intervene. Yeah, well, that could yeah. happen, like, for me, what if the therapist made Richie realise what a nightmare I actually am and talked him out of the marriage. Why <laughs> would yeah. I get exposed? Yeah, the thing is, I, I've been to counselling. I'm, I'm like you, Dan, I believe in it 100%. And, and like I say, if you hit a stalemate in your marriage where you're not communicating, I think it's an amazing thing to do. Mm. However, if on my wedding day one of my guests gave me a voucher for counselling, <laughs> they would be shown the door. <laughs> because I think it was them saying, you know, this isn't going to work, so I'll buy you this now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or what do they know that I don't know? So I think it's an awful wedding present, yeah. but I think counselling's great. Yeah. Maybe it'll have a seven-year expiration date on the voucher or something. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Would you when buy you get it the someone there? I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't myself, personally. But, but <laughs> there, there are, I guess, if you have a friend and that friend has confided in you to say, oh... Maybe I'm a, a bit in two minds when they're walking down the aisle, getting ready to go to that. Then maybe I would just slip it in their pocket. Maybe. Yeah. See, if you give it to me and it was one session, I'd be like, that's nice. But if it was unlimited sessions for the next decade, yeah, no, exactly. I like I said, you, it's, it's one voucher and you can use it within a, a, a period of years mm. or, or something. It you is know. funny though in this country <laughs> we kind of have a negative view of counselling. And we shouldn't. And we absolutely shouldn't. We've got Joe Wicks coming on. Mm. You know, we, we all know how much we should look after our physical mm. health. And mm. in America, you're considered mad if you don't yes. have Counsel. counselling. Yeah. Whereas here, there is still a stigma yeah. a, 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 around it. And we should look after our mental health as much. Yeah. So I do yeah. absolutely agree with it. Yeah. I think you credit it for where you are now. Mm. Yeah, no, absolutely. I do credit it for where I am now. I think the whole thing with, with as you've said, it's all about the <laughs> communication and, um, you know, as long as you, you're both open with each other as to why you're going yeah. for that counselling, then, then I think that's, that's what's important. I think with, with him, he was saying, you know, the physical side has kind of dropped off a bit and he's, he's um, taken a little step back. So that can help because some people can find it hard to talk about the physical or side not. of the... Mm. or not. Um... <laughs> <laughs>